If you play Siamese Mahjong for American style and you want to improve your decision making from the onset, try random pulls. It can be a little overwhelming when you get 28 tiles at once. If you're new to Siamese Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do, so you don't miss anything. Let's do some random pulls. I have all my tiles out and they've been mixed. We're gonna say we're the dealer for these random pulls. We're gonna do three. So I'm gonna get 28 random tiles. Let's see what we can do for random pull one. Oh, look at all these jokers. Nice. <laughs> do we have any pungs? No. We don't. I was thinking we could leverage these and play a quint. Not this time though. I do see, let's see here. One, three, five, seven. Five, seven. I'm seeing some big odds, but I'm seeing more three, four, five, six. Let's just pull three, four, five, six together and see what we have. And then maybe a year hand. Okay, let's see. A year hand up here. Who knows with this? Four, five, four, five. Four, five, four, five, four, five, four, five pair hand. Four, five pair hand. Four, five, six with fives in the middle. No, we need to leverage these multiples here. Okay, what we're left with, west, south, 2017. Four, five, four, five. We need this flower up here. Four, five, four. We don't have a six crack. Back to plan A. Okay, four, five pair hand. Or we could play three, four, five with fours in the middle. Three, four, five with fours in the middle. Three, four, five with fours in the middle. That leaves 11 discards. That's not so good. So let's hold the fives because we could still maybe play the four, five pair hand. That's what I would do. I'd focus on four, five. Three, four, five or four or five. I'd probably even hold the sixes because anytime I'm in mixed suits in consecutive run, I hold four numbers around the multiple. In this case, we have fours and fives. So four, five, three, four, five, six, three, four, five, six. And you don't have to pick a hand until you run out of discards. Up here, the year hand. If you would have done something different with this first random pull, write in the comment section, random pull one and what you would do differently. Okay, let's do number two. Okay, random pull two. I should play Mahjong tonight. Because look at all these jokers. 
let's put this down here. That's the only wind. What about if we play the biggest hand on the card? The big year hand or all dragons. Either all dragons or the big year hand. Down here we can leverage the ones. Okay, we have ones. See these ones? I'll put that up there. Dragons. How about six, seven, eight with dragons? And then here like numbers we could maybe play one three five seven nine one three five five seven nine the dragon I'm just thinking I'd almost rather play like numbers with dragons like that and see if we can do something here with these. One, three, seven, nine with dragons. That leaves 11 discards like numbers with dragons there's got to be something better seven here's four seven nine dragons here's a one three maybe we could play a lucky 13 we don't have any multiples I'd rather play like numbers one, three, five, five, seven, nine, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm thinking six, seven, eight, nine, five. Six seven eight nine or one three five five seven nine or one three five or th one three seven nine. I think this is how I would play it. I would play it with one three five or one three seven nine with the dragons, the opposite dragon, or we could play. One three five five seven nine and use this as joker bait, or we could play five six seven eight. Let's just say we have eight discards, really more like nine discards. I think this one was kind of hard. You know what? I think I might even hold this for a potential quint all ones let's see if we could do all ones here and leverage the dragons all dragons or six seven eight with opposite dragons oops don't let that happen in a real game. Okay, eight, nine discards. So we have options, either all dragons or six, seven, eight with dragons. Then if we played six, seven, eight with dragons, we could use these down here 
for like numbers with flowers. If we decided to play all dragons, then we could play quint with all ones. I think that's how I would do it. If you would do something different, write random pull two and what you would do. Okay. No jokers this time. No jokers this time. So let's see if we can do some pair hands maybe. We've got six, seven. Let's look at sixes and sevens or sevens and eights, sixes and sevens, I think. Okay, six, seven. Six, seven pair hand or seven, eight pair hand. Six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. We would definitely not be able to keep all of this. So keep that in mind. There are discards in there, but we've got options with a five, six, seven, eight potential pair hand. Six, seven, six, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight towards a pair hand, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One tile, tile off between six, seven, or seven, eight. The fives probably we don't need down there. The other thing I was thinking is maybe we could do a one, three, five little odds, little odds hand. We have threes or twos, one, two, three, maybe a one, two, three would be better. One, two, three. Anytime I'm working with a consecutive run in mixed suits, I pick four numbers in a range. One, two, three, four, or two, three, four, five. We have more fives than ones, so I think I would do two, three, four, five. And that would leave us with eight discards, including Joker bait. That's what I would do here. Get that in there. Sorry about that. Okay. S six, seven, eight pair hand, maybe. Up here, two, three, four, five consecutive run. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. We have six discards with joker bait where we could maybe snag a joker back into our hand so if i had to pick a hand for two three four five two three one two three four maybe i would keep this one one two three four that would take us to uh 11 discards but i wouldn't commit I would leave it open. One through five is a little bit of a stretch. So I think I would play it this way. Two, three, four, five, and just gather. Gather every two, three, four, five until a pattern emerges and discard these. If you would do something different, put random pull three under the comment section and let me know what you would do differently here. That's what I would do. I'm pretty sure that's what I would do. Let me know what you think about these random pulls for Siamese Mahjong. If you have a set at home and you haven't tried it yet, get your tiles out and try it and then come back and let me know what you think. Over time, practice like this, I think, would really improve someone's decision making, especially at the onset. It can be really overwhelming when you get all those tiles, especially if you're a beginner and you're playing with someone who already knows how to play, this is great practice. 
If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn a new style, learn a new strategy, or maybe pick up an insight into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next random polls for Siamese Mahjong using American style rules, may all your picks be keepers.